Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to HTube. My name's Chris and if it's your first time on the channel, then be sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom along with the bell so you get future notifications. Today, we're going to be asking the big question. But before I get into that question, I just want to make everyone aware when we hit 250 subscribers, me and my friend D are going to be giving doing a giveaway on the channel. So this will be your opportunity to win a completely free pair of either FreeBuds Free or the newer announced FreeBuds Free I. So all you need to do for now is subscribe and there'll be more information soon. So whether you own a Huawei or you're thinking about buying one, everyone has the same question. Is my personal data safe and is it secure on a Huawei phone? And if so, how do I know that? Let's find out. Huawei announced on the 4th of May that their EMUI obtained a certificate which certifies that the company meets the highest standard for its privacy information management system. This certificate is called the ISO IEC 27701. This is a top level practice for the EU's GDPR, which is currently known as the most strict and hardest data privacy protection in the world. Um, Huawei is the first mobile phone manufacturer to obtain this certificate. So at this point, you're probably wondering, well, how does this relate to me? Which is a great question. So let me ask you what I asked myself. Why do we take our cars to go and get MOTs? Why, when we have an extension on our home, does it have to go through various building regulations and standards? So who are the ISO, IEC, and let's not forget the BSI, as it's the BSI that actually awarded Huawei this certificate. When I first heard this news, I asked myself, who are these companies and who are they to say that Huawei's safe? and that Huawei is secure and that my information on a Huawei device is going to be okay. Which is something I'm sure you guys are probably asking yourself right now. The ISO and the IEC are international standard setting bodies composed of experts from all around the globe and also national standards organizations, again, from all around the world. The ISO stands for International Organization of Standardization and the IEC stands for International Electrotechnical Commission. The ISO deal in a lot of different standards from environmental standards to business management structure standards and of course data protection standards. They were founded in 1947 and have over 164 body members. Now these body members are the four most standards organizations in each country and they only select one per country. The IEC, very similar to the ISO, writes a lot of standards as well. However, the IEC writes standards for electro technologies, which is a collective word used for electrical and electronic products and services and they write all of them on a global scale and they were founded in 1906. I'm sure you like me now realize just how big these companies are and when it comes to writing global standards you really don't get any higher than these guys. For example the ISO just one of their standards is used by 1 million companies across 170 countries. Now that's just one standard. To give you a bit of context, a bit of an idea, the ISO have written roughly 23,169 standards. Same with the IEC, they've also written a lot of standards. And you'll find a lot of standards that have been built by both the ISO and the IEC. So these guys really are the biggest names in that industry for writing standards. Oh. And let's not forget the BSI, 
which stands for the British Standards Institute. Now, this company is based in the UK, hence they're the ones that gave Huawei their newest certificate. They have 87 offices in 31 countries around the world with more than 84,000 clients. And these guys have been in business for 100 years, which is quite a long time, so you'd like to think they know what they're doing, right? The BSI were also the world's first national standard body. And as I said, these are the guys that awarded Huawei their ISO IEC 27701 certificate. This is all designed to ensure that software design, maintenance of these systems, as well as the personal privacy and protection of Huawei's consumers are met and upheld by the standards that are set out by the ISO and IEC. After various checks, examinations, a company must also pass a review, which is normally carried out by a third party away from ISO and IEC. In this case, that would be the BSI. Even after the assessment has been passed, BSI will still go back every few years to ensure still upholding those very high standards. This includes things like Huawei's EMUI system, along with more than 50 applications that process your personal information. Now, I know exactly what you're thinking. I thought the same. So how much information is Huawei seeing and is it safe, is it secure, what can they actually see? So the answer to this is Huawei can't actually see any of your information. So the way the security system does this and this had to be put in place in order for them to actually gain this certificate from ISO and IEC is that it collects the data it needs in order to carry out things like maintenance, development, improvement, bug fixes, whatever it may be. Um, but when your data is collected and processed, and they can only do that once they have consent from the user, which you'll normally see pop up a lot at the start when you set up your phone, it will include noise into the data randomly and it will do it very, very frequently. Then once that's done, they will also collect many, many other users' data, process it through exactly the same situation where it adds in those blank noises. Then all of that data will be merged together and then the noises will be averaged out. This way, Huawei can't actually determine any one single user and they also can't determine any of that data that belongs to any one user or the data individually on its own, which is pretty cool. So ultimately, yes, your data is safe and your data is secure. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this has helped give you guys a bit more of an understanding that actually when it comes to security, Huawei are doing a phenomenal job. Um, you know, so much so that they've managed to obtain one of the hardest privacy protection compliance certifications in history which speaks volumes now i know i've not gone into loads and loads of detail on who the iso and iec is and believe me i could have but you guys would have been here for about another 40 minutes what i will do is i will put all the links to their websites with their history in the description so if you are curious you do want to check it out a little bit more please feel free also please do drop your comments in let me know what you thought about the video let me hear some of your ideas feedback feel free to share the link with anyone else you think may find this interesting as i said at the start of the video me and d on htube will be doing a giveaway wow <laughs> when we get to 250 users all you have to do for now is just subscribe to the channel make sure you hit the bell so you get a notification once we hit those 250 users we will then inform you guys how you enter to take part and it will be super simple and who doesn't love a free pair of headphones and let me remind you the prize is Huawei FreeBuds Free or you've got an option the newly announced Huawei FreeBuds Free i which currently isn't out yet but it's coming out very 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 soon so guys subscribe stay tuned and I'll see you all soon. Take care.